Stevenson falls to Salisbury tonight, 1-0. Glenn Clark with head coach Graham Miller. Coach, it, it seems to be sort of a broken record at this point. But yeah, I think we've been here before, right? <laughs> yeah. Just uh, what, what is it that's not happening to allow your team to get some offense going? Well, you know, uh, nine shots tonight, only one on goal. You know, that tells the story. You know, we, uh, you know, Jordan had a great opportunity in the first half. He's got to bury that. He does it in practice. He's got to put it in the corner. And, uh, you know, Colin had another one in the second half. And uh, that's the difference in the game. You know, they scored on a, you know, questionable PK. and um, But they scored with it. You know, they didn't they didn't score in the run of play. And, um, you know, you know they had chances as well. But we've somebody's got to put it away in these close games. I mean, every game's going to be close. That's what the schedule is. But, you know, Jordan and Colin both had opportunities to tonight one-on-one -on -one with a keeper that you know they got to finish it and, and give us a you know give us a goal I mean that's now four games um, without a goal and another you know it's you know we got to stop feeling sorry for ourselves these one goal we got to win games so we got to um, get back in the wing column we got to put the ball in the back of the net one of the things that we were talking about on the broadcast is I don't know what kind of impact it has on on players when maybe you feel like you're trying to get all of the goals back right instead of just trying to get one goal are you dealing with any of that yeah, we tell them it's one at a time you know one at a time we're just trying to get that first one on the board and somebody's got to step up and do it and it's a young team and uh that's where you know you know it's going to be a, you know a test for us over you know one more game against wilkes going to conference who's going to be the one to step up and change the course of this season and um you know th it's going to be a young guy that's going to have to step up it's a young team so who's got who's going to be the one to step up and and you know you know grab it and, and take that opportunity and put it in the back of the net and i think it's all you know it's confidence it's uh but we've got to you know we're playing hard we're we're in every game you know there's a good salisbury team and we're we're battling hard with them but somebody has to step up and put that ball in the back of the net and i sound like a broken record because it's the same thing I tell the guys. Uh, but now we're four games without a goal. You know, we've had plenty of set pieces, so it's not just forwards, defenders, midfielders. Somebody's got to step up and put the ball in the back of the net. You Are you happy? You know, you say, the, you know, it's been four games without a goal. You've only allowed two in that process, and you mentioned the one tonight was off PK. Are you happy with the way your defense has played outside of the fact that, you know, you're not scoring, obviously, offensively? Yeah, I've, got, I've got, you know, the defense did a great job. You know, yeah, distribution sometimes they can work on, but defensively, you know, they've did a great job. And, and, and it's tough for them because they, they are working hard. Jake Brown's working hard. You know, they're only giving up one goal on a penalty. And, but, you know, they got to be a little frustrated like I am as well that we're not putting the ball in the back of the net. But, but we're a team. You know, we don't point anybody out. So, yeah, I mean, I mentioned those guys, but we're a team. We're all in it together. We win together. We lose together. So, yeah, the defense is doing their job, but, you know, we gotta we got to help out the offense. As you mentioned, right back out on the road this weekend. Yeah, Wilkes, so the last one against Wilkes, non-conference before we head into uh, Albright next week. So, um, you know, we'll see how the guys respond after another one tonight. So we'll see how it goes, and hopefully, you know, when we talk again, we'll have, we'll have ended this gold drought. So. Yeah. Enough of this conversation. We've had enough of it. Let's end this now. Coach, best of luck. Thank you, Glenn. He is Coach Graham Miller. I'm Glenn Clark. This is GoMustangSports.com.